So I'm with Jackie today, um, and I am so excited to talk to you because I'm super. I'm not going to get too emotional, but I'm super proud of you. I mean, you, you have taken you. you have taken a huge leap of faith, and I know you're a woman of faith, and you and your family are faithful. So I'd like to go back for a little bit and just talk to me about Jackie before I knew Jackie. Jackie, the the person that wasn't interested in real estate and and why you even thought about real estate the first time. Okay. Well, I was engaged in 2010. Um, We got married in 2013. I met John and Jen, um, John's wife, at our CIA at St. John's. Um, I had been to St. John's all my life. I got baptized there. I went through catechism all my life. Um, We went to church every Sunday, and... The last year I was supposed to get confirmed, I stopped. I, I begged my mom. All my friends were going to Freedom Center. It was Assembly of God then. Um, and so I wanted to go where everyone else was going. And, you know, she didn't love the idea. She wanted me to follow um, where we've been and um, the Catholic religion. And um, But she let me. She wasn't going to force me. And Um, she knew it was kind of a decision that I had to make on my own. So, um, she let me and I did that. So I never got confirmed at St. John's, but I had always still gone to church there with her on Sundays. Um, my grandparents always went, it was kind of a family thing. My aunts, my cousins used to go, um, back then. And, um, there was just always that draw, that pull. Something was always telling me like something was missing um, ever since then. So when we were going to get married, we were actually, we got engaged in Mexico. So we were going to, um, do it in Mexico. And something just told me like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it without family that couldn't make it there. And, um, something was just pulling me to the Catholic church. So we, one of us had to be confirmed. Andrew was baptized there, but that was the extent of his, um, journey at St. John. So we decided to do our CIA together, even though one of only one of us needed it. And, um, Jen was sponsoring John at the time. So, um, that's how I met John. I, we became Facebook friends. I followed him, you know, through all these years and so have watched him grow. Yeah. To, th- to think about that. You met John Wentworth in John Wentworth, the church person, not John Wentworth, the real estate agent. You didn't even know him as a real estate agent. You just knew him from. I mean, he was an agent then, um, but nothing like he is now. Like as far as his name, like like I said, I watched him grow. Like all of a sudden, you just see his name everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, and you were working at the Rough Draft, I believe, and serving people, which you have a servant's heart. Yep, Um, I've been working at the Rough Draft since I got pregnant, so not quite then, but I've I've been in the service industry, restaurant um, business since I was 15. Mm -hmm. Um, I started as a hostess, and I love it. I love serving people. That's um, just a passion of mine, and I love uh, making people feel better when they when they leave the place that they come see me at. So, so talk to me about that. Okay, you're there, and you come to our first meeting. How did you feel when you first came to our meeting? Um, I I don't know. I felt amazing. Like I just felt it was everyone was just so open. Um, it was open arms. And um, but before that meeting, I John posted something on Facebook, and he said um, it started with everyone lately has been asking me if I'm hiring and let me just say this. And it went on and on and on. And I was like, wow. So I commented on there and I said, wow, that sounds amazing to me. I don't have any experience. Um, cause I knew nothing about real estate <clears throat> and he commented and he said, actually you do customer service is the most important thing. And then he messaged me and said, Hey, your comment on my post has me reaching out to you. Like, do you have an interest in real estate? And he knew that I was working at the Rough Draft at the time. I've served him there. Um, Tony comes in with him. Um, they actually tried to name my daughter's middle name when I was pregnant, and they both came in there, and they sat there for an hour <laughs> trying to tell me what my daughter's middle name was. But um, they – where was I at? So he messaged me, and I told him, like, I love what I do. Um, I love serving people. I 
I've never really thought about real estate. I don't know anything about it. Um, I do know that where I'm at is not a forever thing. Um, and I, I need to do something to um, have a career, have a forever um, stepping zone to my future and my family's future. So he said, well, it's worth coming in and talking about. So he brought me in. I was supposed to meet you, mm -hmm. um, and you guys did a powerhouse, went and worth it, and you went home early. So don't, don't um, edit, that, edit that out. Oh, I didn't go home early. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was more to it. I just wasn't going to say. Yeah. So he said, um, I, I, you know, after we talked, he said, I can't, you know, give you any answers because I always have my agents go through Todd, and Todd does the hiring. So I don't want to um, overstep that. So I'd like you to still come in and meet Todd. And um, Andy Belson had come in during our interview and introduced himself. And he had a he offered um, me to come to an open house on Sunday sure. if I wanted it. So um, I got his information and I reached out to him later after that. And I said, yes, I'd love to come. Um, so I did that. And then they brought me in to the meeting. Um, it was at the barn. That was when I realized, like, I had seen you before. I'd served you at the sure, rough draft, sure. but um, we I, we obviously didn't know each other. So you actually were leaving at that meeting because you had some, there was a death in one of your mm, um, clients that, and you yeah. had to leave early to go. She was flying out of town. So, and I had to be back to the rough draft. So we still didn't get to talk or meet or anything. So we set up another, inter a third interview, well, second interview, but third meet and you got sick that day. <laughs> wow, I didn't know this whole story. This is good stuff. Yeah, so Jen um, actually sat me down and she had all the um, results from the test that you guys had me take. Mm -hmm. And so we go in the room at Raymax and we sit down and she starts talking to me and John walks in kind of after we've started and he's like, don't mind me, act like I'm not here. And he sat down. <laughs> sure. <laughs> not even, we start talking again and not even two minutes later, John says, whoa, whoa, whoa do you know why you're here? He stops Jen from talking and says, do you know why you're here? And at that moment, I I answered it as why I'm here, like why the change for me or why I needed to be here. It's okay. This is good stuff. I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> so I start answering it and he says, no, you're here because I see something in you. Mm -hmm, for sure. You're okay. I think the retreat has a lot to do with it too, but yeah, for sure. Yeah. So he, um, it, it was just in that moment, like it's just what I needed. Like somebody to just give me that chance. And he saw that and he did that. And he said, um, as far as like the Andy and the open house and stuff, he said, I've given you, you know, throw things at you just to throw them out there. And you actually did something with them. You came to the meeting, you went to the open house. And he said, not everybody does, like, nine out of ten people would not do that. They wouldn't do anything with it. So um, that's how it all started. And um, I had told him, like, if, if I didn't have a spot on this team, I probably wouldn't pursue it. Because at that time, I didn't have my license yet. Mm -hmm. um, so as soon as he told me they were giving me that chance, I went home and I got on the Internet. And I figured out what when the classes were. And Danny O'Brien had just started. So I knew Flint was already in session um, mm -hmm. at that time, cause it was like a Tuesday and he started Monday cause we had talked at the meeting about it. So, um, I found Ann Arbor was about to start like that next week. So I drove an hour every day, um, one way to Ann Arbor to just get it done. Cause Flint wasn't doing it for like another month and a half. And I was like, I could have my license by then. And I did. So I took the test, I passed it and just jumped in. You did just jump in too. And you haven't been with us even a year yet. Mm-mm. No, I have 11 transactions. Um, just had a first listing that I, Matt Boley listed for me, and we just sold that. So hopefully I can start working my way to the listing side, but it's it's been life-changing. I'm so glad to hear that. So you just got done with our first retreat. Yes. You know, and it was our second annual retreat, but we work really hard at our retreat to help our agents. You know, And I want to talk to you or you talk to people about what was that retreat like? Tell me the experience for you. Um, it was super amazing, emotional, powerful. Um, 
I feel like we got a lot out of it. Um, especially me, you know, being newer and <clears throat> I need all the advice and um, that I can get. So um, Dave Durant was great. Um, obviously, customer service is the most important thing when we're out there serving the community and serving our clients and serving people. And um, it's just that experience. You want to create that experience for them that they're never going to forget. And they're always going to want to um, come back to you and they're going to feel good when they leave here and feel good when they're in their home and just know that they were um, thought about and cared about and it wasn't just a transaction. Very good. So um, that was good to hear from Dave, all his, um, everybody knows they have a great experience when they go to Uncle Ray's. So sure, for sure. What does legs mean to you? Um, legs is very powerful too. So um learn that I mean you, you always learn you learn something new every day and you need that to grow things are constantly changing um, in this industry so you just have to you have to follow suit you have to you have to be on top of things um, and of course you always you learn from other people you learn from your surroundings you learn from the community when you get out there and um, like Dave again is a great example of that um, and you have to be open to learn. Um, I knew nothing coming in here, so I had to be open. I have to, um, I guess, adapt into the process that has already been there. Sure, sure. Um, earn. Uh, obviously, everyone wants to earn a living. I want to earn a, a living for my future and my, my daughter's future and our family. But um, I also just want to earn trust and respect from the community and clients and our team and just yeah. everyone that we come in contact with. Sure. Um, trying to see it in my head. G growth um, kind of goes back with learning. Like you need to learn to grow and you have to grow um, in order to, to move forward. So um, I'd like to grow my business and grow my future um, and serving. I mean, I've been doing it for years. That's my passion. I love serving people. So um, this just fits right in. Mm. Now this might be hard for you, but I'm going to have you do something real quick. Okay. Oh, great. I want you to talk to Jackie, you six months ago and talk to Jackie about John Wentworth group and what it can do for you. I think we'll go a little bit further than six months if we're talking before I started. Yeah. Way before you started a year ago. Um, I don't know. What, what, what do you mean? Like talk you, to me. You're you're an, you're an agent out there, and you you're maybe thinking about getting your license, and you're not sure where to go or what to do or anything. Oh, okay. So, um, for me, I just you know you see something, you see something that works. You see um, John's name everywhere. You see John everywhere, giving back, doing things in the community. Um, helping out wherever he can and for me that's what drew me in that's um, I just look for that I look when I went and got my Invisalign I um, I went to Dr. Wax because she was doing the same things I saw her you know giving back and helping the community and helping every way that she can so um, that draws me in so when you find that you know you're headed in the right direction and support like we truly want to support you like there's nothing oh, yeah. more important to us than for you to have, you know, here's, here's my thing for you, right? Like I feel for some reason that y your, your mom, your children, your, your husband, they look at you and are proud of what you're doing and of the woman that you're becoming. And I think that's what drives you every day. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've always wanted to make everyone proud. So, um, definitely. And, um, coming into something like this, like I, I've told you, I think before I do not like change. I am, I, I don't know. I just, I hate change. So, um, for me, this was a huge change. It was a huge leap of faith. And, um, I completely like, yes, I'm scared, but I'm pushing that fear aside as far as, um, leaving rough draft for the rough or for the first time, like that's going to be a huge step for me. Um, and that's my goal. And, um, just trusting God, trusting John, trusting this team to just 
it's going to take me where I need to be. So, um, but coming into this for the first time, um, you know, usually the setting or the scene would be intimidating. It would be, you know, people on the team would look to you as competition. And especially in this, um, you know, career, there's a ton of agents out there. So to come into this team and everybody, like I wasn't intimidated at all. Um, everybody, it was open arms. Everybody was supportive. Everybody was lending a hand everywhere they could. Hey, how you doing? Do you need help? What can I help you with? Like every day, every day I came into the office, somebody or everyone asked me, what can I do to help you? That's so powerful. I'm so glad to hear you say that. And then lastly, lead us out. This is the last thing. Talk to Jackie three years from now. Who is she? Um, hopefully just the same person, just um, growing in as far as um, my love and my ability to serve and, and my knowledge of, of real estate. But um, just I want to stay humble, so I don't want to get ahead of myself as far as that. I do want a house um, – for my family, that's the biggest goal right now. So, um, I mean, in my own home with my family, my daughter have her own room, and um, that's good enough for me. 